okay i'm on the terminal now so we are going to do this we are going to run fast qc using the command line approach so i have the data available on my system so if i do an ls i'll see them there and these are the files that i'm going to use the data is available on the European Nucleotide Archive database. So this is a page. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. So when you are here, just scroll down and then you see the data here. So we have these files here. So uh, this is an E. coli sequence data. Okay, so these are paired end reads. So we are going to use this and then this okay it's for the same isolate so the same organism so we are going to download both so make sure you get these two files on your pc okay so you can click to download or you can also uh, use the download link and then just download on the terminal so do that i already have mine downloaded so i'll move to the terminal and then we'll start the exercise so join me on the terminal if you're on a command line, let's look at this ones here. These are the files. I'll just create a directory and move them there. Make that fast queue. And I'll move them first to show you something. So I'll say move star dot fast queue dot gz. So I'll do an ls and then ls into fast queue. Okay, now I'm going to run fast QC on this one. So, if you want to run fast QC on all the samples or all the files here, you can see fast QC and then you specify the directory slash star. And then this will run everything for you. So, let's do that. So, this will run everything for you, just like how we selected all the files when we open with the graphical user interface so it will also do the analysis everything here and then give you a report so if you're using a command line the reports are automatically generated for you so once it's done you will see some files also there okay so fast qc has completed its job so let's check them out so if you do an ls into the fast queue directory, you'll find some HTML files there. Okay, so uh, these are the fast QC reports. These HTML files can be open with a browser. Okay, so we will look at that uh, very soon. Now, what we did was to run fast QC on all the files in the directory, but you can also specify a single file let's just make a copy of this into our current directory so let's say cpsrr i think i have to specify the directory first so cp or copy fastq slash srr one dot fastq dot gz i'll just copy this here let me copy the other one too that's read two I'll copy them again here. So I'll do an ls here. Okay. So if let's say I want to run fast QC on just a single file, I just need to specify the file name. So I can say fast QC and then I'll specify the file name, this one here, and then I'll run it. So fast QC will also do the analysis for you. Okay. So this time we specify just one file. So fast QC will just take that file and then analysis will be done on just that one so you can do it both ways you can specify a single file you can specify all files or you can uh, specify a number of files as well using some linus um, commands so that's about it so that's also done so if you do an ls you will see an html file here which has the report there's also uh, this one here which has some information that fast qc has generated so these are HTML files, so let's open them. Let's use the file manager to open one of these HTML files. Okay, so we are in the file manager now. So there's the HTML file. Okay, the one we generated. These are the reports that we generated when we use the graphical interface. They are basically the same thing. 
okay so you don't need to be worried so i'll just open it just um, i'll just open one of them so this HTML file is what i'll open so you can open with your internet browser so just click it and then it will be open for you so again you will see the reports there you can click on each of these sessions and then see what is happening here okay now let's look at something here so i made mention about the per base sequence quality and then this one too here uh, it's showing some flux here it's red flux so that means something is probably wrong so uh, this one too over represented sequences so here we can see and that there are some alumina adapters here so that is why here you can see this line also coming here so uh, the color here has also been indicated here so uh, these are alumina universal adapters so you can also trim the adapters okay so if uh, you want to trim the reads in addition to the low quality reads you can also use the trimming tools to also trim um, the reads and remove adapters okay uh, there are other options you can specify depending on the tool that you are using for the trimming so these are things that you have to read about 